guys, I'm back with more five minute crafts. I'm gonna say something similar to what I said in the last video. Don't take the five minute thing too literally. It's really hard to come up with crafts that will take everyone exactly five minutes, but the idea is that they're quick and easy things that most everyone can do using cheap supplies. That's the point. Okay, so we're good, right? I'm not gonna get any of those comments. These aren't five minute crafts. These are at least six minute and 30 second crafts. Outrage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... I don't know what to apologize for, but I feel like I should. <laughs> Let's just get started with the five minute crafts. Okay, so let's start with this fluffy pencil holder. I'm just using this jar that I've been hanging on to forever. You can use whatever jar or container you have laying around. I'm gonna use some colorful pom-poms. You like that magic trick? It was magical, I know. So beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a hot glue gun and glue the pom-poms onto the jar. I know this is really complicated. Hot glue is definitely the fastest way to do this, but if you're gonna be handling this thing a lot, I would suggest a stronger glue like E6000 or something like that, but the hot glue has held up just fine for me so far. I just love pom-poms and the way they look all crammed together. It's like a colorful, fluffy d disease. <laughs> It just keeps spreading. Anyway, I also glued the pom-poms onto the top of the jar because I wasn't digging the way that looked before. And here it is, a nice little pom-pom pencil holder. This really was very quick and I love it. It's so fluffy. I actually made an entire video on pom-pom crafts. and <clears throat> Check it out. You can even use it to store your custom pencils. Wait, what? Custom pencils? How do you do that? Well, since you asked, let me show you. For this, you'll need some pencils. These really are the best pencils in the world. Some masking tape and acrylic paint in your choice of colors. Now grab a pencil and place some masking tape around the end. I like to have a little extra hanging over so it's easier to hold on to. And I mixed all my colors with white so that they were nice and pastel-y. Still don't think that's a word, but I continue to use it anyway. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. I made a pastel version of each color of the rainbow. And this paint is getting kind of lumpy. I don't know why I paid a dollar for it and I've had it for five years. Sheesh. Once your paint is ready, it's time to put it on the pencils. I'll bet you didn't see that coming. This is a pretty quick thing, but if you're doing a lot of them, obviously it may take longer than five minutes. This reminds me of when I was little. I used to color on crayons with crayons. Did anyone else do that or was I the only one? This is a slightly more grown up version of that. And these will need to dry for a bit. This is my original invention using binder clips and little keychain straps. Once they're dry, go ahead and remove the tape and bam, there they are. Now you can leave them like this if you need a true five minute craft, but if you wanna go above and beyond and make them a little groovy, I don't really like the way the green looks with these pastel colors, so I'm covering that with silver. This only takes a second and I think it makes it look a lot nicer. Now I'm using the Sharpie to add some little details on the pencils, little hearts or doodles or whatever, just quick little shapes to add a little more interest to them. And now they're finished. I love these, I really do. I think the metallic details are definitely worth the extra couple minutes and they were really fun to do. These will sharpen completely normally in case you're wondering. The paint shouldn't chip off or anything like that. And look, they still work. Ah, wow, amazing. And since everyone else does this for self-promotion, I guess I will too. Now what in the world am I using to mark my page? Well, let me show you. This is an extremely quick and easy one. I'm using the lid off of this box so that I can use the little indent as a mold. Only other things you need are glue and markers. These are Crayola washable markers. Don't try this with anything permanent like Sharpies. You will not be pleased with the result. And I'm just coloring on the lid. Yes, 
coloring on the lid and keeping the color in a neat rectangle shape. Then I'm pouring some glue on top of it and gently spreading it with a toothpick. You don't wanna drag the color around too much and sure, why not go ahead and do another one. I remember making these when I was a kid. I think this was a thing during the 90s maybe. I wasn't born until 94, so I was doing this a little late. Maybe some of you have done this before. How many 90s kids are watching? All you have to do now is let them dry overnight or over day if you do this first thing in the morning. Here they are halfway dry. You can see that the color has started to ooze through and finally now they are completely dry. So just pop them out, which was much more of a struggle than I thought it was gonna be. And there you go, you've got a colorful strip of glue. I mean a wonderful bookmark. It's bendy, which is kinda cool. Oh look, here's the other one. You can trim them up if you feel like it, and done. Now, are these the most impressive things I've ever seen in my life? Well, no, but they are fun and easy to make, and they're kind of cool. For a five minute craft, I think they're good. Okay, so next is a really fun one. All you need to start is a piece of paper and marker invasion. And of course, the first one I just randomly picked up was completely dried out. <gasps> Whoops, sorry, Opie. Now I'm just gonna start coloring randomly on the paper, just throwing different colors on there really. This alone took me a good five minutes to do, so to make it faster, you can use paint instead. Don't overthink this, just fill up the page with random splotches of color, done. Now I'm going to take some clear packing tape and cover the paper in tape. Try not to mess it up. I found it works best if you lightly stick the tape to the paper, then flip it over and press it down. and continue until the whole page is covered. Then I'm taking some black acrylic paint and spreading the paint over the tape. The best way to get good coverage is to use really light brush strokes so that you don't pull up the paint from the bottom, if that makes any sense. Once that dries, you can do an optional second coat to cover any areas that you may have missed the first time. Kinda looks like I'm painting this red because of the reflection. Hmm. Once that's dry, you can take any sharp, pointy object. I found this whatchamacallit in my drawer of thingamabobs, and now I'm just drawing by scratching the paint away. And I didn't think too much about what I was drawing, I was just kind of casually doodling. This was quite satisfying and fun to do. It didn't turn out perfect, the paint came off a little bit roughly, but that didn't bother me too much. Maybe if you use like better quality paint, it will work better, I'm not sure, but it still looked really cool. It is a tad bit messy, so you can't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. And there it is. I love how colorful it is and how fun this was to make. Now, if you want to preserve it, you can spray some sort of sealant on it. <laughs> and that clear coat will just help to keep the paint from chipping off, so you can use it however you want. Okay, now this has to be my favorite five minute craft that I've done so far. I'm using some plush yellow fabric from Joanne Fabric. You can basically use any fabric that you have on hand. And I had this in a bag with a black piece of fabric, so there are little pieces of black fluff on it. Ew, it looks moldy or something, but I promise it's not. And you will also need some stuffing. So I'm going to the end of the fabric and folding it over. Now taking a Sharpie, I'm drawing half a heart and then I'm gonna cut it out and that will give me a nice even heart shape. And then go to another place on the fabric and use the first one as a template to make the same shape over again. If you're using thin fabric, be careful with the Sharpie, test it first to make sure that it doesn't bleed through. And once you cut that out, you should have two matching hearts. Now, again, to make this a true five minute craft, you should use hot glue or maybe fabric glue, but I didn't mind taking an extra couple of minutes, so I'm just gonna sew mine using a noodle a noodle and thread, no, a needle and thread. With the inside facing out, attach the two hearts together along the edges. I've been trying to practice my sewing skills recently, um, but it's a work in progress. Go all the way around until there's a little hole left just big enough so that you can turn the thing right side out. And now shove some stuffing in there. If you don't have this stuffing stuff stuff, 
<laughs> you can use like strips of fabric or I don't know something else get creative and stuff it until it's at the softness that you like and then you have to close up the hole the same way you did the rest either gluing or sewing And you can stop here if you want. I'm taking an extra step and adding a little face to it using some black fabric paint with hesitation. You probably don't want to use acrylic paint for this because it will most likely start to crack and peel off over time. But if you don't have fabric paint, you can use felt, buttons, beads, or safety eyes. And this smile is definitely not centered, but that's okay. It was a good try. I'm also using some chalk pastel to add little pink cheeks. You can use blush for this as well. And once the paint dries, it's finished. I think I did a little better on the second time around, but they're both really cute. I really love how these came out. I think they're adorable and so soft. I gave one to Opie, but he didn't seem too impressed. And yes, he does sleep in a bed on my desk while I'm working. Uh, what are we looking at here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and those are all the five minute crafts I have for you today. I hope you guys like this video. If you do any of these yourself, please email me a picture. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!